I'm Dr. Stephen Dan of the Australian National University and this is the Performing the University Ways in which to create a sense of going to uni in the virtual and the online teaching spaces. So the backstory for this is that in semester two, 2020, I taught two online classes that were conducted in full virtual mode. This was after the semester one transition from into emergency online teaching. We were now pivoting into online by design, a deliberate step into a fully virtualized teaching space. And as part of this, one of the pieces of due diligence background research I was doing was looking at the international experience. And from the United Kingdom, one of the common problems students were encountering was not feeling a sense of being at uni or on campus. And as a marketer, I was familiar with a couple of concepts that helped us in marketing sense, help people find a sense of space and place. And that was the idea of the ritual, small little behaviors undertaken to consistently signify something. It was based a little bit on baseball magic, which was a set of luck rituals that baseball players and other athletes undertook to have a good game or have a good performance. It was based a little bit on consumption behavior, on the way in which as humans we engage in certain practices, consistent recurrent practices uh, around our shopping behaviors or around say what we buy someone for Christmas or getting a celebratory birthday dinner, something that was routinized, standardized, but consistently told us a specific message. It gave us a signal. And in discussion with my students across the semester, we identified seven signifiers, seven steps that could be undertaken to showcase, I'm at uni now. Now you don't have to use all seven, but you may find drawing on parts and pieces from each helps you, both as staff or as student, find that mindset of, I'm at uni, I'm doing university now. So the first obviously was location. And this was very much about finding a recurring, consistent spot to engage with the classes. For teachers, it was about broadcasting and setting aside a location that was our teaching space so it was familiar. Students would log in, students would see the background, see the staff member, and it was class time. For students, it was about separating between where they were living and where they were studying to create a proxy campus. The second step was about the uniform. It was about suiting up. It was about going through the wardrobe and assigning an outfit for this is my go to university. As a teacher, I ended up creating a set of shirts that were uh, embroidered with the course code and they were my teaching shirts. When it was class time, on went the teaching shirt. So it was a uniform for performance. But there was also the switch off ritual attached to the uniform was when it was no longer teaching or it was no longer work mode, you could shed your external indicator that you were at work. You as a student could change out of the study gear and back into your other life, your non-study life. Connected to this was the idea of the ritual grooming activities where people were, despite having no intention of switching on their Zoom cameras, still doing the hair, doing the makeup, shaving before class, and bringing themselves a sense of that ritual grooming of getting ready to go to uni. And even though it was all gonna be voice and text over Zoom, they were ready because they felt the grooming process helped feel like it was class time. Connected to that was the idea of certain ritual consumption patterns, the a uh, cup of coffee on the way to class became the mug of coffee before the seminar started. It was about finding little patterns, little 
recurrent rewards that said, I'm going to class now, I've got my mug of coffee, it's time to log into Zoom. Similarly, there was the use of physical objects and artifacts. Uh, this is where we get into some of the really interesting ends of consumer behavior because people started assigning notepads to courses and it was study time, it was class time, it was time to get out the course code notepad and the associated course pen and the associated course highlighter. So there was a set of very clearly defined study equipment and the study equipment created the environment in that workspace. You were suited up, you were in your spot, you were wearing your university gear, it was study time. You were at the university. And connected to this was also the idea of those students who were doing their study via asynchronous rather than synchronous events, creating the same synchronicity, uh, the same sense of I'm going to go to a class. There was a bit of discussion around the idea of using alarms and using preset timers to create the same temporal pressure that you'd experience for a seminar, you'd experience for a tutorial, that it had a start time, it had a finish time, and it wasn't just an open-ended, I'll study later. It's I'll study now and I'll study until. There is also a big market opportunity out there for anyone who can record a class packing up either in the room or the room next door and have that available as an alarm ringtone so that when we finish off our classes, we have the right acoustic effect of classes ending up, things are finishing up now. And one of the final areas that was of ritual to our participants was the idea of the login, that the virtual world gave us a series of ritual points where connecting to Zoom or connecting to the LMS or activating the university VPN was, I'm going to campus now, I'm going to turn my computer into the computer of the university, I will switch this on, and when I am done, I will switch this off. So for me, across the board, I use these practices myself across this teaching semester. And one of the key elements for me in terms of creating that space, creating that sense of it's teaching time, it's class time, was to use certain performance behaviors. Definitely putting on the work shirt, putting on the uniform for teaching helped me focus to this is my class, this is what I'm doing, but also the disconnect, the ability to say at the end, I have finished, I'm going to take the uniform off and change back into my at-home clothes. So suiting up for work and then changing back to the civilian life. So you're still in the same room, you're still in the same building, you're still in the same apartment, but your physical manifestation, the way you've presented yourself to yourself over a webcam or to yourself in a Zoom room has enough signifiers, enough changes to make it feel different. So for you, how did you signify university time? And this is one of those aspects where it's finding and sharing our little rituals, the little things we do that makes it go to class time that gets our minds from I'll just check my email or what's my paper about what am I writing to click show time teaching time and as students what are the things that you need what are the signifiers you need that makes it feel more real more like I'm at university I'm in a class I'm attending something what has worked for you and what would you be looking for as a ritual that we could use to signify to you at the start of a Zoom call, at the start of a PowerPoint deck, what would make it easier for you to feel, I'm at university now, or I'm doing the university, I'm studying, I'm in a class, I'm engaged, what would make it work for you? Let us know, either direct over the social medias or through the email, but do let us know what makes it work for you.